Proceeds all. Hi and welcome everyone. First of all, Merry Christmas. Well, I finally made it yeah, after five years to 10 million views, but that's the entire views on, of the channel. So say to yourself, not even one video got to 1 million. So it's not to, to you know, imagine how they're hiding the truth from coming out because you, we see a lot of videos get up to a million. Right, okay, here's the thing. Nereus 4662 was said to be seen leading up all the way to the 24th and the 25th at sunset beside the sun. But it would be an optical illusion that it was very bright because of the sun. This is what was said in the news. It would have a little tail end. It doesn't mean that that's what it is, but... That stayed there for 27 minutes. The t no, 20 minutes. The time I drove with my son. This is my son. Love you, man. Filming this. We had an amazing Christmas together. And I explained to him, it doesn't mean it's Nereus, but I explained to him what they said on the news, that it can be seen and the light can be seen around it and maybe it's tail end. Uh, well, not maybe. They said it. And whether it is or not the object stayed stationary and it's not something that you see all the time so at the beginning we all think hey is it a chemtrail obviously it's going to uh, stay there but and move over like keep the same shape but move over to the left and this one did not and it, here's the advantage you see we're on the country side that's like me at home there's too many uh, buildings around me so i can't see um that low in the sky i would see the grayness on top and just the buildings or whatever and houses around it but again and again and you'll see at one point where uh, like now we're driving towards it but then the road veers and we start going um east and then nope like it's still there stayed there so we started filming it by little increments obviously uh, both uh, the car stopped and both while we were moving and this is in slow motion because it's with my son's phone but check it out so what the heck could it be i don't know but it was really really uh, apparent now it's upside down by the way so it's not going downwards it was this was going upwards and it got very bright but again they said in the news that the 24th and the 25th, leading up to all through the month of December, like right up to the 25th was the last day they said it could be seen um, beside the sun. So that's it. Now we're going towards like away from it, but yet that line is still remaining there. And it's not going to remain much longer after uh, the sun starts really going down. It totally disappears, but again, does not move. So I told my son, you know, sorry, uh, try to keep filming it as long as you can so that we can get um, a sign if it changes or like you know it could be clouds so you got you gotta look carefully and note the clouds on the bottom obviously are moving over and look that object stays there it's not hard to prove something that is in the sky and, and again it's not stationary but so they say um, if it, it is Nereus or an asteroid it would look stationary just like Neowise when I filmed the comet they look stationary for a while because they are very big and far out. We're seeing them big um, uh, like that because they're very big. If not, we wouldn't see them. Size of a football field, I think, or 1,200 feet, something like that, the object. And again, whether it is or not, there's the last shot. You know, We wanted to share it. And this, guys, is on the 24th at exactly, it started at the beginning of the video, 417 to almost 435. Uh, 440 that we filmed as we're going uh, to my house with my son to have an amazing evening so let's head over to the sun i, I you know it, it's a phone so i couldn't get much closer than that it's still an amazing shot love you man thank you so much brandon for uh, filming that for me <laughs> uh let's go over to see the sun now uh, guys i'm laughing but the sun is really bad yeah i'm still laughing Give me a second. There we go. The sun is really bad. Merry Christmas, by the way. Happy New Year. I'll be here throughout the holidays um, doing a couple streams, too. I'm just uh, getting old now. Uh, a night with my uh, son. It's going to take me a day or two to get back on my feet. I'm anxious for you all to see this video. The research continues here throughout the holidays. Uh, I'll put a little bit of music up. I don't think you need to understand that um, the sun over to the right, especially. Don't forget to see that one on the edge there. And this... I love seeing the sun this way. Put a little bit of music up and uh, 
um, I'll show you today's sun, uh, yesterday's sun, sorry. And today it's worse, but again, there's no sky here and it's snowing. So I'm not going to get any music up because we're almost done. I mean, that's the sun, that's it. So I can't show you much more, but honestly, here it is turned sideways so that we can see the top now, um, which is the side and look at it. It's really agitated today, even worse, but obviously I doubt I'll be able to get it today. So that, that's how it is. Eh? Filming the sun, it's not always uh, easy to be able to see and film it, but it's she's agitated. That's for sure. And there will be many differences in weather. Whoop, that, that flashing you just saw is because the sun is on the edge of where I'm filming. So it's my camera causing that flashing. We've seen it. I've shown it before with the sun in the center. But again, it can be the camera. So you all want to see um, where um, the UFOs that I filmed, these, like the surface right there. So exactly right there is Mirificanitatis, where it starts at the bottom. Let's say the, uh, the south, south side of it for me here in Montreal. And the surface has, um, I'm telling you guys, incredible uh, signs of what I believe is construction. I'll, I'll let you guys and gals decide it yourself. So let's go see it very close up um, with um, green filter to, uh, and the exposure taken down, Bruce style. And honestly, look at the surface. Here we go. Merificunditatis. Oh, yeah. Sorry. First... I want you to see a couple of angles of it. So that's it here. So those who have not seen this, it's a UFO fleet. They are actually winding from left to, to right. And of course, you have to look at it several times. It's so fast. The eye is tricky. Sometimes one will say they're going straight. One will say, no, I'm seeing them wind. It took me many times to look at this footage to understand and to even realize there's one actually lifting up off the surface to go join that UFO fleet. So scary, you say. It is like beyond scary and uh, so that's the surface that we're going to go look at like really really close as close as we can to see the surface and again with this green filter it permits me uh, the way I do it my te uh, photographic technique to get as close as I can to the surface like the, like here for example uh, we're not going to see any detail on the surface uh, maybe there's not detail on the surface but we see these objects clearly because they are in focus as they go by uh, sometimes I see rectangles, maybe you can see circles, depending on your screen. There's lots to take into consideration too, but we each have different monitors and we can see these objects different ways, but we all see the lights going by. No matter what shape or form, you can see them on your screen. Uh, I have a big screen here, and trust me, they they look rectangle, but here, another instance, and in, look what happened, they take off from the surface. So here they are actually taking off from Mare Fecunditatis, I mean... I didn't, I've, I've said it a, a good many times, but don't necessarily linger on it. I'm happy to be able to show the service when people ask me coordinates. Sometimes I just shut up about that. And I tell you, Merfecunditatis, you don't have to know which exact area. It's in Merfecunditatis that we see them lifting up. And um, scary, guys, it's lifting up smoke off the surface, and they're hiding under, under the lights, getting ready to take off. So unless there's a lot of people going to Walmarts on the moon, it could be military, and uh, there could be wars somewhere out out there in the solar system or elsewhere. Like, I mean, dimensions. Anyways, here's Merfecanitatis.
and this mysterious towering object inside of let's say the southern highlands uh, not so far off from Clavius Crater actually here the sign is Irida Mountain so those satellites Elon Musk sent up this is a satellite train an Elon Musk supposed satellite train can't help but wonder if those are weapons or if they're satellites or then again is this a satellite a weapon I know a direct energy one is you got to wonder what's going on out there I wish I could go out there I'm sure many of you wish you could go out there and find out what's going on um, infrared here very rare directional changes seeing something it's so easy to stump people you know people are looking for truth and then some people are looking for for thrills but all religious people are affected spiritual people are affected by the truth out there i feel and i hope to bring more truth in 2022 stick around my friends more videos on the way thanks for watching everybody thanks for taking the time to subscribe to this channel Cause disclosure's coming soon Cause disclosure's coming soon